with my mouth, with my mouth. Let your glory be upon all the earth. 
Come to Jesus, look and live. Oh, come believe it. Come believe it. Come to Jesus, look and live. Look and live. Come to Can you jump those hands together? Can you jump those hands together? 
Everybody praise the Lord. Lift up your voice, everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, those of you outside, run down to join us here on the ground. The program has started fully. You are hearing the sound of music. The sound of praises to the God of heaven. I'm reading in the Holy Bible, Luke chapter 1, and in verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. Verse 77 and 78. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high had visited us. The Lord had visited us. We saw it on Thursday. We saw it on Friday. And we saw it yesterday, Saturday. And to the glory of God this morning, we saw it as well. And tonight... We shall see it again. I say we shall see it again. The Lord is ready. And tonight, he will visit us. Let's close our eyes as we pray. Heavenly Father, the almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, we thank you very much for making it possible for this global crusade to hold you on this ground at this time, thank you for the wonders and the miracles and the marvels and the manifestation we have seen from Thursday night up till this morning. And we thank you and praise you because we know that tonight there will be a performance of those things spoken by the mouth of the Lord. Father, be glorified. Exalt your name manifest your power. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. As we remain standing, we're singing from our program booklet, A New Name in Glory. I was once a sinner, but came, pardon to receive from my Lord, this was really given, and I found that he always kept his word. I was humbly kneeling at the cross, fearing not but God's angry frown. When the heavens opened, and I saw that my name was written down in the book, it is written, saved by grace. Oh, the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven, and I know by the blood I am made whole. There's a new name written down in glory, and it is mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. And the white robe angel sing the story. A sinner has come home, for there's a new name, for there's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine, oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am found, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam.
Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You're welcome to day four of this program. It has been great, and the Lord has been doing great in among us. We shall remain standing as we go to the Lord in prayer. Let's open our mouth and worship the name of the Lord for what the Lord has been doing in our midst from the day one, day two, day three, and day four. For those that have been saved, those that God has that have been sanctified, those that have been restored, and for the miracles that we have seen and the deliverances that God has brought among us. Let's worship the name of the Lord, for the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. Thank God for the man of God. Thank God for all the sections of the program we have been, we have been blessed with, that these blessings we have received and that all that we are going to receive that will be permanent in our life. In Jesus' name, we pray. We'll be going to intercessory prayer. Now we're praying for the nations. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 18, In that day, I will also make a covenant with them, with the beasts of the field, the birds of the sky, and the creeping things on the ground. And I will abolish the bow, the sword, 
and war from their land. And we made them lie down in safety. We're going to pray for nations going through war, terrorist insurgencies, civil war, that the peace of the law will come into those land. Remember Russia, Ukraine, that God Almighty will save this land. And any plot of the enemy that God will seize in this place in Jesus' name. Remember to pray also for all Israel, Somalia, Magadashu, and Sudan. Manipo, there was a violence in Manipo in India. That God Almighty will make the peace of God to reign in these nations. Enough of shedding of blood. People have been killed, going to hell and prepare. That God Almighty will have mercy. We speak his peace to this land and heal our land. That the grace of the Lord, the peace of the Lord, will cover this land. That God will touch all those leaders and let them come to agreement so that peace can reign in this land. Remember also to pray for the West Africans, where the terrorist, is, uh, terrorist activities are going on. Try to keep quiet, to keep the Christianity at base. That God Almighty, we let his peace reign in this land and that the gospel of Christ will spread among all evil's plan. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Is it nothing to you that people are just dying? We need to pray and that God will save these people. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now we are going to pray that God will help those that have been displaced. Maybe do, during this war or during this unrest in all this land. They are no more in their comfort zone. That God will help them. Let's pray for divine help. That God will help them wherever they are now. Those that have lost their family. They have loved the breadwinner. They are now widowers, widows and orphans. That there will be divine help from God. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. For thou, for thou, fear not thou, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That God will help them, a divine help, God will provide for them. Wherever the pains they are passing through, or wherever what they are going through now, that God will help them. Please pray for them. In Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Amen. Resounding amen. We are going to pray for the experience that has been drawn from these insurgencies and war. That God will make the people to put their trust and hope more in Him. That these experiences will bring people to Christ. We are not adding their heart, but to bring them to the knowledge of truth. It will bring them to put their hope, their trust, the more in the Lord. Pray for them that God will save the people by this experience. Pray. Pray. Is it nothing to you that people are dying, going to hell and prepare? Let's pray for them. Our prayer can turn the night today. And pray that God Almighty will use this experience to save some. That God Almighty will use this experience to bring them in trusting in Him, in hoping in Him. And this God will answer in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still praying, brethren. Let's pray that God Almighty will keep the believers in those land. They will not lose their faith. You know, when you are the, when down, when you are down in the valley, when things are extremely difficult, we only need God's grace to keep faith. Let's pray for them. That God will keep them by His mercies. That none of them will go back to the world. That they will not stop the journey they've started. That the Spirit of the Lord will guide them. It will strengthen them. It will uphold them. They will not be dismayed. That God will uphold them with His right hand of righteousness. In all the battles of life, in all the struggles they are going through, that Jesus will walk through with them. That the Spirit of the Lord will guide them. That they will not lose their faith. They will walk in this narrow path to the end. Pray for them. Pray for believers, who knows wherever they are now, maybe on, on an open field, on protected places, but pray that God will be with them wherever they are, that God will keep them, that God will uphold them. Let's pray for them, 
pray, pray, brethren, pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now we are going to pray for our GS. Pray that God Almighty will give our GS divine strength. His purpose and objective to this program is that the gospel will be preached in all the nations. And he has been working tirelessly to make this happen. We're going to pray for him that this objective, it will come to pass. This gospel that we have had, we've had from him for these many years, we go viral, we go all over the world, not only to go all over the world, souls will be saved and be brought to the knowledge of Christ. Let's pray for him that God will give him a divine strength. And we multiply anointing, refresh anointing that God will uphold him as he's moving from state to state, from country to country, that he will not be tired, he will not be weary, and he will see the fruit of his labor in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for him. Pray that God we make all his our desire upon us to be steadfast upon the world to come to the knowledge of truth come to pass upon us for those that are sick among us that God will heal them and deliverances for those that need deliverance let's pray for him in Jesus name we pray amen resounding amen now we're going to pray for the other ministers the ministers that are working with him going from one state to another following the, the vision of the of the man of god they are working with him they are not tired that god almighty will strengthen them also that the spirit of the lord will continue to guide them in all their journeys god will keep them from all evil that the grace of the lord will be mighty upon them in the day in the night god will protect them when they travel by road in the air that god will be with them and this mission Will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Go to pray for yourself, the crusade participant. What do you want God to do for you? You've been here in the last the day, one day, two days. This is the day four. Open your mouth and pray. And tell the Lord what you want God to do for you. Are you looking for a job? Or you are looking for a family, husband, or a wife? Or you are so disappointed in life and you think to hand it, don't hand it, brethren. There's the hope after the turning. That God Almighty will see you, remember you today. Pray for yourself. That God would, if you want salvation today, you'll be saved. Restoration, you want revival in everything, your, your ministry. That God Almighty will do that today. In Jesus' name we pray. So let's pray together now. Our Father Lord, we thank you so much because of this period of prayer. Thank you for the nations we pray for. Thank you for divine help. We thank you because your peace, will, you will speak to the nation in Jesus' name. Or those in need, you will help them. Pray for brethren, the believers, you will keep them by your faith. And for a man of God, you will strengthen him. And for others, working with him, uphold them. And for the participant today, bless everyone. We well, thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I have good news for you. You want to hear good news? Clap your hands for Jesus. Globally, clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. GCK package. All the past and present GCK crusade and ministers' conference messages preached by the convener of GCK Dr. W.F. Kumuyi are available in flash drives, in SD card formats. The messages are also available for download in mobile devices. So those online, they are available for download. And even those of us here at the Alpha location in mobile devices. Visit Life Media, say stand for your copies. Tonight, you will have your copy. Amen. Amen. Today is the first day of this week. The last day of last week ended. Please sit down, please. The last day of last week ended yesterday. 
That rolled away three days of the program. Today is the beginning into a new week, another three days again. So this evening, we are having the program. Then tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., ministers, church workers, and professional conference. It will be holding in Dr. Obi Wali International Conference Center, GURK Road, Portacot, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Tomorrow in the evening, the crusade also kicks off at exactly 5 p.m. Then the grand finale will be on Tuesday. I will not miss any of them. I say I will not miss any of them. All our weekly meetings and their days are all indicated at the back of the program. Avail yourself of this great opportunity to attend wherever you are. There will be a special banquet for all those who gave their lives to the Lord. In this program, it will be on the 2nd of July, Saturday, 2nd of July, at the Alpha location as well as in other locations. Then those watching online also, we hook up online. More details will be communicated to you by the grace of God. The convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Lastly, there will be water baptism for all converts globally. Second Saturday, 8th of July, 2023. God bless you all. We now bring you choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world.
Richard, mm -hmm. wake up. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you. Richard. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mom. It's just 1 a.m. in the morning. I need to sleep it. Why are you awake at this time of the night? Sorry to disturb your sleep. And once again, congratulations on completion of your youth service. But whatever is it you want to say, can't it wait till tomorrow morning? It's, it's, it's just past midnight. No, it can't wait. It's about the issue that I've been discussing with you for the past three months. But I don't understand what you're trying to tell me about it. What issue? Eh? Oh, that? Yes, that. It's long overdue. And I don't really understand what you're trying to tell me about it. What is it that you don't understand? I, I told you I can no longer submit my blood to the cover. I can't. Ah, that's not possible. It's not possible, my dear. I got you from the master. And the deal was that you will be submitting your blood every month. When you're still young, I normally use blade to get a pinch of your blood myself. When you are mature, you do it on your own and you submit your blood to me and I take it to the master. But a few months now, you decided that you are not submitting your blood again. What is all that about? I agree. that I once voluntarily submitted my blood to the cover. I agree. But that was when I was blind. I can now see. I have light now. And what does that supposed to mean? It means I can no longer turn around to the things I've left behind. You see, Pastor Kumuni came to a state where I sat with the global crusade. And through that crusade, my face was lighted. I knew the truth. And that is why I can no longer be involved in such a dirty deal anymore. No. No. Ah, but Master will be angry with us. The Master can be angry. It's better that men are angry with me than God being angry with me. Oh no, Richard, this is not going to happen. It is a deal. It cannot be broken. It has happened already. Mom, I need to sleep. My eyes are heavy. Even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. From tonight, this will be your testimony. Lord, even the devils are subject unto me through thy name. Say that. Lord, even the devils are subject unto me through thy name. Say that again. Say it as if you really believed it in your heart. Teresa. 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 Sa. 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 Master. Please. I'm at fault. I, I, I admit it. Please. Please, Master. You have devoted for three good months. <laughs> Where is his blood? Master. Yes. yes, I know, Master. I know. But I, I really don't know what has gotten over this boy. He's not willing to submit his blood again. He said he's not giving up his blood. I have done everything possible best. But this boy is not cooperating. Please, Master. He must be kidding. As a matter of fact, he's kidding. His blood or my own blood? Yes, master. Yes, your blood. It's your blood. I, I don't know what to do, master. Please, I, I will plead with you to please appear to him. He will be afraid. And with that, we'll be able to get what we want from him. I don't know what to do again. Master, please help me. The consequence of refusal is dead. Oh, master, please. I will get you. Ah, oh, master, no. Master, please. Master, please is my only son. Please, master, please. Ah, 
Master, please. Master, Master, please. Master, please, Master. It's the only son I have, please, Master. Don't do this to me. Master, oh, Master, please. There are weapons that Satan uses in the lives of people. Sometimes it's to control. Sometimes it's to distract. Sometimes it's to afflict. Sometimes it's to destroy. Sometimes it's to take the good of your life, to take it away. All those weapons of the enemy, this night, we're destroying them. Richard. 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 Who is calling my name? Who is that? And all those hearing of voices, oh I'm hearing this, I'm hearing that, and you don't see anybody, it's the work of the devil. Satan, tell, tell him, tell him. I ask your Lord and go, and he has to go in Jesus' name. Richard, why are you making this difficult? It's three months. Do you know the implication of this foolish decision? You are a kid from a palace. My blood runs in your veins. Our deal was sealed with your name. Therefore, you have no choice than to obey. A call for break is a call for death. Your refusal to donate your blood tonight will break the tiny line between you and death. Take! I need your blood! Your blood! No. I guess you're having a hold on me. I think I've just been declaring the word of truth without practicalizing it. As many as I call on the name of the Lord shall be saved! are subject unto us through thy name. From tonight, this will be your testimony. Lord, even the devils are subject unto me through thy name. Say that. Lord, even the devils are subject unto me through thy name. Say that again. Say it as if you really believed it in your heart. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. It's been a wonderful time, and tonight again, the Lord will do great and mighty things. It's time for testimony. I want to listen to the first testimony right now. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Alfred Onwa, a medical practitioner. And uh, beside me is Mr. Andrew Ohi Wete. Uh, he has a tracking testimony of the supernatural touch of God. Brother, I want to hear from you. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Andrew Wobeti. I'm from Benin City, Edo State. I'm here to testify what God did for me. I got hit me of excruciating pain resulted from Boex. It all happened uh, last week, Thursday, uh, at about 12 uh, 1 a.m. I was sleeping and uh, I had a scratch on my right buttocks. I was itching me, so I woke up my wife. I said, oh, What is happening? Is there ants on this bed? I put on the light, there was no arm, so the more I scratched it, the more the pain was coming up and itching. 
So after about 10 minutes again, uh, the same thing struck my left buttock. So I said, ah, what is it? So from then, it is something was aggravating and uh, the pain was becoming too much. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then on Monday, uh, in the morning, my father in the Lord, my street pastor, uh, daddy, uh, coincidentally, coincidentally officiating tonight, he called me and he said, uh, I should come to Portai Court with uh, two of my media team. But the way I was talking, he observed and then noted that uh, it, was, it was very unusual. So I said, so I had a pain. He asked me, was, I said, I had pain since some days now. What is it? So I said, boy, so, so will you be able to make it? He prayed that. I assured him I'll be here. So uh, on Tuesday, uh, I thought the pain would subside. It wasn't getting better. So I snapped it and I sent it to my son to give me some medical inputs and advice. So he advised me to urgently see my doctor. So I, I couldn't drive. I tried to drive. I couldn't. So I picked a, a cab. I was going on the way. The pain was too much. So I told the cab to stop. I brought, ran into one of the pharmaceuticals. So I ran. I met the pharmacist who prescribed drugs for me. So um, I told my colleagues, my media team, to go ahead while I joined them up on Wednesday. So Wednesday, I came from beneath to this place. It was hardly task and challenging, but I came. So on Thursday, I was here. I come to the altar, I prayed. My daddy, too, my former state pastor in the Delta Saba, he saw me say, Andrew, what is happening? The way you are looking, I said, sir, I've been in pain for some days now. So he empathized with me and sympathized and prayed. So to cut a long story short, uh, over there in the hostel, I couldn't sleep. I lie down, I have to fix, put my two legs up. If I had to fix down, uh, it was challenging. So on Friday, the Lord put a finality to it through the prayer of my biggest daddy, the man of God. Praise the Lord. So on Friday, I came. I was supposed to be monitoring GS official page and uh, taking attendance online. I moved from the media office there. I called me. I was just moving restlessly, you know. So getting to the time of prayers, I say, my God, I will see monitoring. But at the time, I say, I think I should drop this phone now. Let me concentrate on the prayer. Then God put my challenge in my prayers uh, in the man of God's mouth. So he prayed and he mentioned prayer and pain. Praise the Lord. As I was going, my wife called. He said, your biggest daddy has prayed. I think you should be relieved by now. When I got to the hostel, that on Friday night at about 2, the pain was too much. I wake up my, my, my colleagues, my team member from Calabar and the other brother there. I said, look at it. When they put on the light, I snapped it. It was terrible. There is uh, pox and blood and all that. Something was coming out. I couldn't do anything. Then three minutes or five minutes after, everything just dried up. Praise the Lord. Everything dried up. You couldn't see blood. You couldn't see anything. I could not see that. Oh, this morning I came here. I had to do my official assignment. I monitor. I took a turn. I sat from 8 to the end. And I'm even there still doing the job now. The Lord delivered me. This is my story. This is my story and my miracle and all that God did for me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Next person. Mr. Andrew had multiple septic spots with excruciating pain for one week. After the prayer of the man of God, our pastor, Dr. W.F. Kumui, just a simple prayer. All the pains, all the boy dried up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brethren, my name is Owa Emmanuel. I'm from Estate District, Estate Group, Mebele Region, River State, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Uh, certainly, the testimony is what God has done for me. Uh, about 18 years suffering of top pain, pie, as I was told from the medical uh, examination. And it started 2003 when I was still back at my mother region, that is Old and Yoma region, Delta State. And all through that time, it was in the morning, I needed to ease myself. It was a retreat program, so I can meet up with other activities in my units, but I couldn't. It was so severe, so painful. 
and I lost my strength. I have to call someone to get my leaders, one of them close. And that is how I was taken out from the convenient to a place. After what, after the retreats, in that very period, I went for medication. I was tested. I was tapping. Treatment started, but to no avail. When I came down here, I swear, uh, it was still that way. Because when the pain starts, it irritates me, every part of my body, and then there was protrusion and the anus, blood stain, and a lot of that. But 2001, because it started 2003, but 2001, that was some years now, 18 years from then, at my district, estate, church, uh, maybe the region. And so it was GCK around August, September, thereabout. And so I, I was there at one of the days, and then seated down at the man of God after the message, led us to put our hands where we had the pain, and which I did. Though I've been doing that before, but not with confidence. But I said, now, something must happen. And I put my hand right there at the position of the anus, and I believe God. And when the prayer was made, all I received from God, I have heed you. Praise the Lord. And so I believe the Lord. And I went back home, I checked up and did everything, and then I, it was as if it, it has gone. I told my wife, look at what has happened. I monitored it, I checked it up, and say no. And then I told others, I testified it, I said no, I have to make this platform a, a place to really testify to the Lord, so that as many who are believing God for something, they should believe that tonight God will help them out. And so that is how the Lord helped me and I want to assure you that from that very 2021, August, September, there are about till now, it has not been as it has been before. God has hid me of that 18 years of pie. I give glory to God. I may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. I may this global crusade with Pastor Kumuyi keep on Amen. giving us Amen. God okay. gift okay. of Christ's okay. King Thank from you. heaven in Jesus' name. All right. Put your hands together for the Lord. Eighteen years of hemorrhoids gone through the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord.
If God's been faithful, let me hear you say amen. Amen. Oh, let me try to say a faithful. So faithful. Faithful is a God. Let me hear you say faithful. So faithful. Faithful is my God. Jesus is faithful. He's faithful. Faithful is my God. You say faithful. So faithful. Faithful is my God. You see, I'm weeping. Take it back. Take it back. Oh, I'm weeping. You have to take it back.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for this mighty, wonderful day of the Lord, the fourth day of our global crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. We thank the Lord for the great and mighty things that the Lord has already done in the past three days. But today again, the Lord is going to take us in a session of wonders, signs, and miracles. Through his servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. But before he comes, I would like to take this opportunity to bring to you the gospel music artist Jonathan White to come and take us through a session of praise and worship before the man of God comes and ministers unto us the word of the Lord. May the Lord richly bless you. Thank you. Good evening, friends. I'm glad to be back with you again tonight for this global crusade with Dr. Kumue. And because of God's goodness, we're going to see breakthrough. Because of his faithfulness, we'll see breakthrough. God has been an amazing friend and has brought us through so many things. Be thankful with me tonight and worship him. Expect that breakthrough. As Dr. Kumue speaks, reach out and claim that breakthrough. And I want to sing about the goodness of God, and he's been good to all of us. And we need to worship him, lift our hands, lift his name, lift our praise to him. Listen as I sing the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All of my days, I've been held in. From the moment that I wake up till I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Amen. Goodness of God. 
Wherever you are, it's time to worship God. Let's rise up on our feet, please, as we worship God together. Rise up on your feet. Lift up your hands and wave it to the Almighty God. Worship Him. Do it from your heart. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Thank Him. Exalt Him. Thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy call. Passion, they feel not as thou hast been thou for ever. Will sing it now, great is thy faithfulness. God be faithful to you, just worship him. Worship you, Lift God. up your voice and worship him, worship him. You, God. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you today. Worship him, worship him. Just thank him. We give you the highest praise. All that I need, all. Praise! We magnify your name. You are the great I am, the 
out to you. You are the mighty one of Israel. You are your We worship you.